Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo and welcome to the continuation of my Scrap Mechanic Survival Adventure. Now there is a whole lot of stuff that I want to do in this world guys, and there's a whole lot of stuff that I haven't done yet, like even raided a warehouse for example. But there is one idea that I am particularly excited about, and that's what I want to try today. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be building a floating house, or a boathouse, I guess you could call it. Now, I traveled far and wide, I'm not kidding guys, far and wide to get all of these pallet stack things, because they do float. They do float, as I found out, and I did have a bunch of them, but they got destroyed by Haybots during the great raids of 2020, so I had to go and get more. And I did manage to find quite a bit more, I think I counted yesterday, it's... 63? No, no, it's not 63. What am I saying? I actually have more than 70. That's awesome. I like 78 of them. Well, that's good. Hopefully we can make a sizable, you know, rectangle out of them that floats and then build a house on top of it. So pretty excited for that. Is this going to be a little house floating out in the middle of the lake? Who knows? Maybe once, uh, once chapter two comes into play, I can turn it into like a mobile refining facility, you know, because if the mining islands are going to be, well, islands, uh, then it'd be cool to have a barge that, you know, goes there and parks up and does all the refining and stuff. That'd be really neat. But in any case, let's, uh, let's go and drive this truck over to where my farm is. I think that's where I want to start building. I mean, really, does it matter? Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably a good spot to build. <laughs> Man, this thing is so bottomed out, it's ridiculous. I could easily jack the suspension up, but it's so much work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these off shortly, and then I won't have this problem. So, let's get in here, and let's head out. Oh, jeez, look at that. <laughs> it's just riding on the flatbed. Beautiful. I'll have you know though, this thing did not flip once. I know that it's easy for me to say that without having any footage to back it up, but it's uh, it's pretty good. I don't know if I told you guys, but I did widen the truck a bit. As you can see, the bed is actually wider. Um, so the wheels are wider in the back and it's it's been working out great. Working out much better. I got a lot of Haybot arms here that I need to collect. Oh boy, there goes the lag. I'm just gonna start filling up my inventory with these things. Inventory full. All right. Well, there we are. Uh, actually, I could probably drink this. Grab one more. Perfect. All righty. Let's start building this thing. Now, I think I'm going to place one down and then I'm going to build off of it. I do want them to be laying down like that. I think I'll just get more, more, you know, surface area that way. Now, I do actually need to uh, borrow this for a sec. I need to make sure that I can build on top of these. Okay, perfect. I can build on top of that. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, fence. Well, let's keep placing these, I suppose. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. I'm almost curious though, if I take this off, does that whole thing fall? Oh, it doesn't fall off. Well, that's good. So they do get attached to each other on the sides as well. Okay, well, perfect. That works for me. I'm gonna keep building. Alrighty guys, it's almost nighttime, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and uh, this is as many pallet crates as I have. I guess the nice thing is that if I ever find more, I can always just uh, add them on there. Now, I don't like how these two are looking here, so we're gonna do this. There we go, and there we go. Any other outliers? Oh, this whole side is an outlier. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? Well, now the moment of truth, guys. Let's see if this whole thing will float. <laughs> Excellent. It still floats. Oh man, this is cool. So now we have to find a way to, well, A, move it there, and B, also test if building things on this will make it sink or not. Hopefully not. I might have to actually take some of these and maybe place them underneath 
the whole raft. I don't know yet, but that might be a possibility. And actually, like I said, it is about to be nighttime. So we're just gonna wait that out and get back to building once once it's daytime again. Eight hours later. Oh, you know, don't mind me. Just going for a nice morning ride in my jet catamaran that guzzles gas and doesn't even go fast. <laughs> I definitely got to build a faster boat at some point. Uh... Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you want to see me build a better boat. I would love to rebuild this thing and make it faster. Oh my goodness, it's like almost as big as my raft. I just wanted to see if I can push the raft. Oh, kind of. I can kind of push the raft. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. This is working. I just want to push the raft a little further out, you know? In fact, I don't know why I even built here. I thought this would be a better place to build, but all my materials are at my base. So I think I'm just going to push this thing a little further out. And then go and take my boat to get materials and, you know, start building a little little house on top of this thing. I'm pumped. How much fuel did I just waste there? Probably a whole lot of fuel. Man, I really hope this thing doesn't sink. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> I feel like I might need to add some underneath. I feel like I might have to do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna spend some time moving this thing further out. And then I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, wait, can't I also just do this? Herder. <laughs> All right, let's go to the bottom. <laughs> that was cool. Maybe now that I actually have a bunch of oil, if this thing needs more flotation, I'll just line the hole underneath with bubble blocks. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, is this where I want it to be? This isn't a bad spot for now. Yeah, this is okay. Let's do this. Kind of want to paint these first, actually. Maybe put some railings up. That'd be neat. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go make a bunch of railings. I don't think I have enough railings. Also, my boat's all the way over here. Shoop. Come on, spin around. There we go. Look at that park job. It wasn't the greatest. <laughs> gonna grab some paint and gonna make a bunch of railings. Also, I just got an idea. I have all these tires. I think I know what to do with them. Okay, so I have some paint. I have all my tires that I accidentally made at some point. I knew these would come in handy. Sure enough, they're about to come in handy. I always forget which seat I sit in. Not the junky one. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where's my raft? Alrighty, so for the tires, I think it'd be cool to maybe put them like this. There we go. Oh, that's cool, man. Alright, let's start from the back here and space them out evenly. Pretty sure I'll have enough small wheels. I got a lot of them. So how's the buoyancy on these? Ah, it's decent. Haha, <laughs> that looks kind of neat, actually. These are gonna have to be spaced out a little differently, but that's okay. Well, I guess we can do the front as well. I just need more tires. wonder what happens if I put a craft bot on that thing. Really curious. And I'm really curious what will happen when I start building a wooden structure on it. Really curious. Hopefully it doesn't sink. I should probably go and preemptively get a bunch of oil so that I can preemptively build a bunch of bubble blocks that I can preemptively not sink this thing. Maybe in the next nighttime, since I have nothing to do, I will, I will go and get a bunch of oil just for that. But until then, more pieces! I got all these crappy ones too, but I mean, I don't I don't have a lot of them, so we'll just have to go with the nice ones, because I built a lot of them accidentally. Why did I beach my boat? That is a good question that I cannot answer. Almost out of gas on the boat too. Man, this thing sucks gas back. I gotta build a lighter boat. Alrighty, there we go. Now, I did want to paint this. I think I want to paint these black... What? Oh, I can't paint them. That's interesting. Oh well, that's, uh, that's okay. That's fine. I'm not crying. You're crying. We can paint the wheels, though. Kind of like the yellow, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe just a different yellow? Yeah, let's just do yellow like that. Sorry, orange. It's orange, and I'm making it yellow. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna go and make more railing now, because I'm gonna need a lot of railing. I think I have enough wood to build the actual house, so I'm not too worried about that. But definitely gonna need a lot of railing. Really curious to see what happens if I put a craft bot on there. I might, uh, I might just try that. You know what? I'm gonna go build a second craft bot. I'm gonna... I should know what I need for it, but I'm gonna go build a second craft bot. Man, this thing drives so awesome now, now that I've widened it out in the back. I can, you know, I can whip the tail around. She's good. She's good. Still flips on the rare occasion, you know, but, uh, drives much, much better. I'm glad because I didn't want to rebuild the front. I like how the cab looks, and widening the back out didn't make it look ugly or anything. So, I'm pretty stoked on that. Drive into here and grab our craft pot. I think I have everything. I probably don't have everything. Yeah, I need more scrap metal. I gotta go, I gotta go fight Haybots. Wait a second, I know where I can get a bunch of scrap metal. I just refined a bunch of Haybot arms. Haha, <laughs> back to base. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Perfect. This thing boogies when it doesn't have a load. I love it. Okay. 
Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, there we go. I need 82, I think. I should have almost that much. I have a lot more than that. Excellent. <laughs> oh, man, good stuff. I really got to rebuild my mining vehicle as well. I think that's going to be a different episode. Just because mine is, uh, well... Kind of obsolete. It's only got one mining drill on it and one saw blade. It's not very efficient. I really should just build a bobcat like Han and I have in our co-op world, but I think I'll try something new. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get creative with it. Alrighty, back to the mechanic station. Whoop. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. Gotta go and hunt for more component kits eventually as well. I've got a decent amount right now, like 60, I think, but I really gotta step it up. Okay, there we go. And we should have a craft block come out soon. Bloop. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's get this thing loaded up and let's take it to our barge and see if our barge sinks. Craft bots are quite heavy, so that's why I'm really curious to see how the barge will react when I put the craft bot on it. Probably not a bad idea to have a second craft bot anyway, just in case. Who knows? Oh boy. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, you let me down. You let me down. Actually, guys, it's nighttime, so I think I'm just going to wait and drop this thing off, go get some oil, and then I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll test the, the carrying capacity of my raft. Or my barge, rather. I'm pretty sure it's gonna sink. I don't want to build anything more on top of it until I know if the craft bot can fit on there without sinking it. But with that said, it'll still be cool to build like a little floating house. So in any case, let's go get some oil in case we need bubble block. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Parkour, parkour. Parkour, parkour. Oh, no. Parkour, parkour. Oh, uh, out. Get out. Get out. This is not healthy. This cannot be healthy. Okay, how are we doing here? Nice. Alrighty, guys. I have a full inventory of oil. Well, basically. And I got this full chest here. So I'm going to take this back. Uh, it is unfortunately already getting dark out again because I, well, got greedy and wanted to pump more oil. I guess I'm just going to drive back now and we're going to wait until the next morning to actually, you know, start doing stuff again. But hey, lots of oil now and we can finally make all the bubble that we want. Bubble block. I mean, bubble block. We're not making bubbles. That'd be cool, though. Make bubbles? Mm, bubbles. Don't touch my bubbles. My bubbles. My bubbles. It's actually not too far from my base. It's just far enough that, you know, I can't pump it remotely. It'd be nice if that stuff worked remotely, but I understand why it doesn't. The game would lag quite a bit. Oh, there's my raft. It's so itty bitty. <laughs> Boom. Here we are. Let's throw this chest into circulation. Eh, good enough. Oh, see, yeah, this thing wasn't building while I was gone. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, bubble block. Let's go, baby. Mass produce. And I'm going to dump all the stuff that I have as well. Good for gas right now, so I'm not gonna worry about making gas. We're just gonna make a ton of bubble block. A lot of bubble block. Well, actually, now we're just gonna wait until morning. So, see you guys then. Alrighty, guys, it is finally daytime. Bubble block production is still in full effect. Still got a ton of bubble block to make, actually. I might. I might want to slow this down. I have... I don't have that much, actually. I have quite a bit now, but I definitely need more. First things first, let's test out if this craft pot actually sinks the raft or not. I really hope it doesn't. Man, that wheel, constantly spinning. Just has the time of its life, all the time. Beautiful. Uh, I don't know how I can do this. Can I... Can I just... I'll probably just sink my boat if I try and put this on my boat. Let's be real. LOL. Alright guys, guess we're swimming out there. <laughs> this makes it sink. It'll be pretty hilarious. It'll be sad, but it'll be hilarious. But it'll still be very sad. Alrighty, let's place this thing in the middle. Okay, has the water level gone down a bit? Okay, what if I remove it? Okay, so it does. It does sink it just a little bit. We might have to line the bottom with some bubble blocks. Maybe add another layer of, uh, of these crates, pallets, crates, whatever they're called. But, uh, oh jeez. Oh, geez, when it's not placed down, it really doesn't like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Is it gonna flip it? No, I don't think it's gonna flip it. But that's not good. Uh, so definitely gonna have to find more of these pallets. And it's a good thing I'm making that bubble block. Definitely, definitely could make this thing a little more floaty. So let's bring the craft pot back. I have a bunch of wood on me. We can start building our building. And then, well, eventually, you know, I can I can put stuff in there when it floats better. <laughs> Definitely got to make it bigger down the line. But once again, guys, just got to explore for more of those uh, more of those crates. I think, unfortunately, there's a finite amount of them in the world. I already found quite a bit. I thought I ran out of road, but probably not. So 
We'll find more. We'll find more. We'll go on another adventure eventually. Maybe I'll grab some of this block, uh, the bubble block right now. You know, uh, just for the sake of safety because, well, don't, don't want that thing to sink as I'm building my house on it. <laughs> hey, I can take my boat. I don't have to swim with the craft bot. Totally realistic. That does look cool though. I'm gonna place all the bubble block that I have for the time being and then we can always go and get more. Wow, oh, it's actually, uh, I actually managed to cover quite a bit of it. Definitely need more of those. Maybe I can double back here and see if we can get more. Actually, you know what? Let's let the craft bot do its thing. I don't want to interrupt it. It gets kind of cranky when I'm always up on its grill. So let's just start building here. Let's just start building maybe some railing. I'm going to start with that. That's uh, that's probably a good idea so we don't fall off this thing. <laughs> How's that for size? There we go. That's perfect. No, I'm out of pipes. I'm out of pipes. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I guess build more pipes. Let's finish lining the bottom of this thing with the bubble block. That way it's all even everywhere. Yep, out of fuel. Great. Yeah, I know this thing is sucks back so much gas. It's like a full container is nothing for it. This is looking good. I'm loving it. Sweet. There it is, guys. The whole bottom is now bubble block. Now, it, I think we are actually a little bit taller. I think we might be taller. That's good. That's that's good. Well, it seems like uh, it seems like I don't have materials to build any fencing. I'm making that right now. So let's just start building the house, and uh, we can go from there. Alrighty guys, back to daylight. Oh, beach in my boat. Beach in my boat. Come on, suspension glitch. Do your thing. Do your thing. There we go. Excellent. It's a submarine now. <laughs> As you guys can see, the barge, boathouse, whatever you want to call it, is coming along well. I am going to build it just as a house for now, and then eventually when I expand it, I can add, uh, you know, my refining aspect of it. It'd be really cool to have this thing as a floating refinery. Really cool. Um, it is kind of a giant floating entity, so I'm not going to try and have too much complexity on it. But with that said, still going to try and make it cool. So let's get back to building. The whole thing feels so, like, tilted when I'm building it. I actually feel like I'm on a boat. <laughs> Gotta add more things up front here.
Alrighty guys, well it's daytime again, uh, making lots of progress here. I think I'm actually going to make this three wide. It's a little hard to get into. It's not too bad, but I still might make that three wide. Just uh, just for the sake of having it look a little better. I don't know. As you can see, I brought the cookpot over. I wanted to see if this guy would fit here well. He does, or it does. And uh, I also added some bubble block underneath here because my barge was getting a little, little disbalanced. So... Yeah, uh, coming along well, I built a little platform that takes me up to the second floor. This is where the sleeping chambers will be, but it's coming along great, guys. I can't wait to see this finished, so gonna keep working on it. Alrighty guys, I think this is going to be the final build day. I've gone through a couple of nights. This has been quite the build, uh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a little, uh, little more than I expected, but I'm having so much fun building this thing. And it's actually turned out pretty darn awesome. I'm not even sure what I talked about or didn't talk about already, but as you can see, I got a little kitchen thing going on here. Well, I showed you guys the lift, but I'm building the railing upstairs. I have my bedroom which still needs some mood lighting, uh, we'll get there. We have an AC, but no door, so you know, very, very high efficiency uh, boathouse we've got going on here. I did build a bed, I did build a bed, so let's place the bed down, and then, you know, we can actually spawn here. There we go, perfect. I got a bed right by the AC, lovely. Oh, 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 kind of spawns me, okay. I guess my bed used to be lower, or my ceiling used to be higher, I'm not sure. Eh, it's okay, I just have to duck in order to get out of bed. No big deal. <laughs> I also have a locker. I don't know if it'll fit here. It will fit here, uh, but I don't think I want it here. I think I maybe want it downstairs. Downstairs might be a better spot for it. Let's see. Hey, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Cool. We got a locker on board now. We got some plants going on. Are we tilting? Are we tilting? We better not be tilting sideways. Okay, no, I think we're still good. We may be a little bit tilted sideways. I may need to move some stuff to the other side. What if I do this? Are we tilted again? We're still tilted, but probably for a completely different reason, which is fine. It's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, up we go. I'm gonna finish my railing here, and then I think I'm gonna go and see what the generous people of the abandoned villages uh, have to offer to help me accessorize this thing. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Okay, there is the railing for the upstairs. I love this, guys. This is awesome. So I guess uh, I guess I'm gonna go and get into my truck now and go see what I can find to help me, you know, make this thing prettier. I'm gonna work on all this stuff. You know, this is just this is just temporary. Some some of it is temporary. Some of it is temporary. I know the lift works a little wonky with that sensor, but it's all good. Oh man, that looks so awesome. I know it doesn't move, but oh, it's so awesome. It will move, it will move, just not right now. Okay, 
And let's get in our truck and go and raid some stuff. Actually, I'm gonna put some things away first. It's actually interesting. I had just enough wood to build the whole thing. I like, I literally had like one piece of wood left. It was weird. But what that means is I have zero wood left over. I have a lot of metal, just no wood. At least trees, most of them you can uh, you can cut down by hand. So there's that. Alrighty, let's see what this place has to offer. I always wanted one of those things, actually. I'm gonna go upstairs. Ooh, more lights. Definitely need more lights. Should I be raiding this one? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Need plants, always need plants. Another light that's just chilling. A mattress, nope. I want this thing. Another plant. Ooh, another plant. Gotta have lots of plants, guys. Lots of plants. Thirsty. I'm gonna grab this too because it's just hanging there. I'm gonna grab that. I'll grab the plant. And I think I'm gonna go to the next one. I don't think I want a vending machine in my in my boat. That also might just be a little heavy. The fresh sign is cool. I'm not gonna lie. The fresh sign is very cool. Maybe I should take that. I don't know. Should I take that? Kind of want to take that. All right, let's go to the next one because I don't like raiding these ones. I just kind of took off stuff that was already fallen off from the first raid that I ever did. <laughs> I am going to go to a further one and I'm going to raid that one because, well, it's further. I'm trying to keep my own neighborhood nice, okay? That's that's literally all this is. I'm just trying to keep my own neighborhood nice. All right, let's see what we got. You know what? Let's just steal one of these fresh signs. Who cares? Ooh, a lot of piping. This is nice. Wow, I really raided this place. There's like nothing left, guys. <laughs> oh no. Take more plants. That's no big deal. I want these, but can you paint these, I wonder? Oh, you can. So I can like... Oh, okay. Perfect. I'll just grab another one then. And another. The antenna's cool. There we go. Got an antenna. Let's get another light. Oh, inventory full. Gotta start placing stuff in my chest. Oh, I got lots of food here too. That's awesome. Ooh, a lot of gas as well. <laughs> Alright, well, let's put all the plants here. That way we're kind of consolidating things. Perfect. Grab some more boxes. Hey, man, gotta, you know, gotta furnish my house. I really should just take all this wood, actually. Because I kind of need wood anyway. Well guys, it's nighttime. I think I got quite a bit of stuff, so I'm just going to take it all back. And in the daytime, we're gonna make this thing look pretty.
Alrighty guys, it is the final, final day. This was a long build, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a lot of time lapses most likely, but man was it worth it. It drained all my resources as well, all my paint, all my wood, just, just all of it, just all of it. Oh man, look at that parking job. Look at that parking job, the tire's doing its thing, you know, so I don't scuff up the barge, scuff up my boat. Perfect. Now, actually, I did forget to do one thing, guys, just bear with me for a minute here. I need to put a light switch on all the lights. <laughs> are they all done? They look like they're all done. Perfect. Alrighty, all the lights are off. We are not being blind. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait for a little swim. We're not being blinded. Oh man, that looks that looks so cool. I love it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because I had a blast building this and this this just turned out way wicked. Uh, let's go upstairs or just, you know, let me show you around. So obviously as it stands, it is a bit of a useless creation, guys. Not useless in the sense, well, sorry, useless in the sense that it doesn't really do anything. You know, it can be kind of my little home base. I have been meaning to build a house for myself. So, you know, this is, this could be my house. Um, this is the first floor. This is where all the parties happen. You know, got a little patio here. Very nice, very nice. Well, not really a patio, more like just a back entrance to the whole thing. And then here, I have my little kitchen. Of course, uh, the cookpot's a little... It's not clearanced to fit the cookpot, but we'll fix that eventually. I can uh, I can cook some stuff here. I got a microwave. I have a storage locker as well. You know, whatever. Who cares? It's all, it's all fun and games. <laughs> that looks so cool, guys, from the outside. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now, oh boy. So now, if we uh, go upstairs, use our nifty lift here. Perfect. Uh, then we have, uh, you know, the upstairs patio. This is the living quarters. This is where, oh, I didn't paint the roof. I didn't paint the roof, man. Blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. Okay, now the roof is painted. My guy is just having a nap, you know, just, and as he lays, he's got uh, Burt Reynolds there to inspire him. You know, hard work pays off, guys. But this is a pretty cool room. Like I said earlier, we do have an AC with no door, but we'll, you know, we'll figure that out eventually. Um, <laughs> got a plant here. I don't know, guys. It's, uh, this was mostly just a build for fun to see if I can make this whole thing float. And I can. And I hope that I can find more of these blue crates because what I'm actually going to do is uh, extend this whole thing and potentially build like a workshop. Uh, under well probably next to it not underneath so that would be kind of cool obviously up here we have a couple of antennas just to make it look cooler let's get back in the bed here and, uh, and see what it looks like oh man it just it looks so cool guys <laughs> I'm loving it don't look underneath here you know had to use a bit of a uh, bit of extra bubble blocks gonna have to make more but that's okay above it looks amazing in fact if i do find a lot more of these blue pallet crates then i think what i'll do is just uh dump a couple of more underneath the thing just to make it more realistic um, but the bubble block is doing its thing for now and i am happy we're not too lopsided i think we might be a little bit off front to back but that's okay maybe a little bit off side to side actually but that's all right um, this thing is wicked. I, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I had a ton of fun building this and, uh, I'll probably just end up using this as, uh, as my home base. Well, as, you know, my, my spawn place, I suppose, and my, uh, my kitchen where I make all my food. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please click the like button down below. It really helps the video be seen by other people. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe with notifications so that you can stay up to date with all the future videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!